All right, welcome back. Now, it has been a testy week for government amid delays in high debt repayment that have led to an admission that it is broke. Now, while the government is yet to disclose how much debt it had to pay in the first week of April, KTN's Noah Kipkemboy took a look at the government's spending in March and reveals that it had only 3.3 billion shillings on the 1st of April, having spent 260 billion shillings. So just how does government work? April has been a difficult month for government employees and legislators, with many of them yet to receive their March salaries. Though the government says it is working on clearing the payments, it continues to maintain that it will not borrow to pay salaries and pensions. This raised the question as to just how it will meet its salary obligations to its employees. A keen look at the month of March through declarations on the Kenya Gazette reveals that Kenya's opening balance for the month stood at 2.03 billion shillings, with the government embarking on a high-gear revenue collection. Well, government raises revenue in a variety of ways. Uh, number one, and the overwhelming majority is from taxes, uh, but also you have a lot of non-tax revenue. You have all sorts of uh, loans and financing and grants that come from both domestic and foreign partners. On raising revenues, the government raised this on taxes, these on non-tax revenues, this on internal or local borrowing, and these on external loans and grants and this total to 260.9 billion shillings the collection of 157 billion shillings by carry in march pushed the total revenue collection to 1.39 trillion shillings which is 66 percent of its target of 2.1 trillion shillings ideally we should be at 75 percent it's more of an economic issue and uh, the economy uh, has not been doing very well businesses have been struggling over the last few months and obviously the taxes that businesses can pay um, have been reduced. On the expenditure side, the government spent this on recurrent expenditure, this on development expenditure, and this on debt servicing, salaries and pension, and also county allocations. This total to 259 billion shillings. In total, government has spent 2.09 trillion shillings so far, representing a budget utilization rate of 57.8% of the 3.6 trillion shillings budgeted for in the current financial year. Um, on the expenditure side is issues of absorption. You find, yes, money is available, but for example, maybe what you're trying to procure, maybe uh, there are some legal hurdles. For example, maybe there has been a tendering, and maybe that tendering somebody has gone to court and challenge that process. So it means maybe the money that was uh, committed for that project because maybe of a court case or, in, or another issue is not utilized. So with a closing balance of 3.31 billion shillings for the month of March, would one say the government is broke? For you to be able to just take a snapshot and say you have 2 billion now and compare it to an individual or an account or a household is quite, uh, quite contrary. Uh, governments exist in perpetuity and they'll continue to exist in perpetuity and you cannot look at it from that snapshot perspective. You have to look at it from a continuum perspective. To meet its revenue targets, CARE will have to collect over 715 billion shillings to bridge the budget deficit. The government will have to borrow 490 billion shillings from the domestic market and 285 billion shillings externally. And with less than three months to the end of the current budget year, the question that begs is, will the government meet its budget targets? Noki Kimboi, KTN News.